What's on the menu today, buddy? This month we've got old news. Harry Fractic, you're not a little old lady anymore. Huh? Unboxings. It's nearly three quarters of a meter long in Atari 400 flavored wrapping paper. Retro memes. <laughs> and your homebrew projects. What's that? NES. The Commodore Sphere. Thank you, Devin. We'll also have your nostalgic photos. Welcome to The Retro Show. I know you love dirty sticks, but this is episode 36. Oh! Oh, hello, Chip Dippers. Chip Dippers. I can see you there. Welcome to The, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. Yeah, you like sticks when you go for a walk, don't you? <laughs> I was hoping to get the walk reaction, but she had a treat in her mouth. I'm surprised she didn't explode. And to make sure you don't explode and that you live a long time, stay tuned because we're about to find out why playing with old computers can actually officially make you live longer in this week's Old News. That's old news. As also as this month. <laughs> and first up on old news, Niall Mullen has written to us to let us know that this just came through his door. It's the phone book. Mm -hmm. Now you have these in America, obviously, as well. Yes. But from the 1880s as well to 2024, they've been delivering this through the door. Oh. And this is the last ever one. I don't know why exactly. I suppose just most people just go online now. Niall, unfortunately, won't be able to dial anymore. But from that bit of 1880s news to something that can help us all live longer, here's a study that was recently conducted. It was known as the Counterclockwise Experiment by Ellen Langer. Here's all the info. Yeah, so actually there's a really fascinating study, it's really? one of my favourite ones to talk about, really? which was um, three groups of octogenarians. Sea creatures. People in their 80s. People in their 80s. Oh, sorry. And one group was the control group, so they just lived like normal for a week. Oh. One group um, had to reminisce about being in their 60s for m most of the week, whenever they had an opportunity I to. I loved my 60s. And one group were actually driven to retrofitted versions of their homes that looked like what their house looked like 20 years ago. They were given newspapers dated from 20 years ago. They had photos of themselves in that house when they were in their 60s. And and one of the things was they got there and they were, they were sort of like, okay, you know, who's going to carry our suitcase up to the bedroom or whatever? And they were like, no, you're 60 now. You carry your own suitcase. So it literally started from the minute they got there and these little old ladies had to... and, and gentlemen had to carry their Thank cases you. Sounds up. like abuse, but yeah. Um, after one week, the people in that group were taller because their their posture improved. Who did this at home? They were they had better musculoskeletal coordination. Having they to had carry all their luggage. In before and after photos that were shown to people that didn't know them, they were rated as younger in the one week after photos and the photos from arriving at that place. Um, and the reminiscing group also had some improvements, but not as much as the group that lived like they were in their 60s. And they're all now dating 30-year-olds. <laughs> That's fascinating. I love the psychology of just telling yourself, Harry Fractic, you're not a little old lady anymore. Um, but yeah, the, I think all this playing with childish toys and watching Knight Rider and all of that stuff, I've always wondered if it had a clinical um, reason, because I'm very much into healthy aging. Yes. And uh, yeah, it turns out it does. Well, don't they say that time is only a construct? Like, they do, yeah. So if you put yourself back into the way that you were 20 years ago, then you are back in 20 years ago. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Might never matter, literally. So yeah. there you go, fascinating stuff. Let me know if you are 80 and act like you're 60 or 60 and act like you're 40, or like me, 51 and act like you're 12. Uh. Yeah. Basically. And I think that is it for old news. Apart from, you remember last month, uh, we showed the poster for the re-release that's coming out May 3rd. Yes. May the 3rd be with you um, in this year. And it's coming back to cinemas. And I joked, where's, where's Gavin Sykes? I don't know if you know, I played a character called Gavin. I don't, I won't talk about it. Um, but then someone pointed out there's a widescreen version of the poster. And there he is. 
up there. So these are obviously he flew one of these N1 Nebu fighters, and we can posit there's one, two, three, four, five, six there, five not destroyed, and there were eight pilots at the end celebration, so eight surviving pilots, including yeah. Sykes. So there's a greater than 50% chance that Gavin Sykes is in this poster. <laughs> that is true. Maths. When you had counted, because you were Bravo 6, so when you said one, two, three, four, five, six, and you pointed at the exploded, exploded one. one, that is proof that um, he does survive and that he's not yeah. the exploded one. Let's say six is this last one, actually, because okay. I was one of the last ones running across the hangar to my ship. Bringing up the rear. Don't be so rude. And on that bum point, that is it for old news. Um, that was old news. Next up, you're going to see what I mean in I See What You Meme. We're going to see what he memes. And first up. Your childhood is destroyed when you see MacGyver broke down and he can't fix his own car. Oh, good. Mm. Did you ever watch the original MacGyver? You know the actor? I, I don't know his name, but... MacGyver. I I think my generation grew up at the very end of MacGyver and the concept of MacGyver, so my generation knows the phrase MacGyvering it. Mm. But Gen Z has no idea. They may know what it means, but they don't know why it's called that. That's what he's trying to do there. He's trying to MacGyver it. <laughs> Typically what I do, I just kind of stare into the engine. Although we don't have an engine anymore. No. Oh, I, I do, in the Pontiac. You do? I just remember I've got a kit car, real one. Sorry, I just lost five years. Gained five years. <laughs> Science is confusing. So how old are you now? Twelve. <laughs> Again. In case you missed it, enter our raffle now where you could win Kit Tesla, the real world modern day kit from Knight Rider, worth around $100,000 with 10% of the raffle proceeds going to charity. Just like Kit, he features a Kit scanner, full self-driving where available, Kit inspired steering yoke, auto doors, trunk and hood, which emits the Kit turbine whine and super pursuit mode effects, Kit wheels, rear wing, wheel arches, a slick black wrap and just too much more to list here. Oh, and a cockpit dock for our upcoming AI Kit app, so he can remind you how clever you were to enter the raffle at bit.ly slash win Kit Tesla. The link's also in the description, and remember, one ticket can make a difference. Good luck. And this recently appeared on the Jimmy Fallon Show in honor of the new movie. Oh, Murray. Zoo, I'd be playing along. Slimer! <laughs> so cool. I love that Bill is sort of rediscovering his love for these things that he seemed. Everyone goes through that phase of shunning the things that they were in. Hugh and McGregor went through that phase, yeah. Harrison Ford. Yeah. And they all come back around. So let that be a lesson to all of us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that helps too. It definitely does. Uh, Harrison Ford was honest about that. Yeah. Next up, Canute has sent us this. This is from the TV series Halo. And can you see? I can see it from here. Look at this. An old typewriter. Wow. Wow. Nothing else I think of interest. No, just a C64C. Is that a pet? And a Commodore pet. Now, bonus points, you can tell me what key is missing from the C64C. Can you check on that one? Oh, gosh. Or is it left arrow? It is left arrow. Left arrow, okay. And that creates the left arrow character, not the left cursor. <laughs> of course it does. Of course. Cool, thanks for sending that in, Canute. And to put inside that Commodore 64, stop press because we've just been told the JCPU 64 is available for pre-order. This is the replacement FPGA 6510 for your Commodore 64. It looks CPU-tiful. And? I can't, LOL. Spinning, I love. Didn't I see you could play the sax, did you? Well, they've got quite voluptuous lips. Next up. Eminem was trying to figure out who ate his last mom's spaghetti 
He still has a Blackberry phone. Yes, he still has a Blackberry. So there you go. Any of you still use a Blackberry? Uh, today I use an Ericsson T28S, personally. Um, yeah, don't feel old. I guess that's a really good way to not have your phone hacked, is to not have one that like has a nice is like compatible. phone or Android yeah. account. Yeah, I'd be surprised if, if a lot of people he knows actually have one as well. But maybe Eminem, I know you watch the show. Uh, maybe you just let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> next up. This is fascinating. This is what's known as a negative harmony, and they've used AI to retune, separate oh. out the vocals, and then retune the song and the vocals. So here we go. It's not. It's. I defy you to not be singing this a week from now. a special episode coming up in October to celebrate the 40 year anniversary of that song. And maybe they will record that version by then. Anything's possible. <laughs> and from music oh, to... Music. Can you learn this? What? From Take On Me to... Take On We. Oh my God. Good. It sounds exactly yeah, yeah. like the video game, so yeah. Poof, music. Very good. Yeah. From Take On Me to Take On We, and Stop. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> we. <laughs> What's a negative harmony of Take On Me, though? The song would be called Me On Take. No, it would be... Me Take On. No, so when, when you think of the word negative, it would be like the opposite. Take so Off Me. It would be... Take, it? take Off You. Give, give Off You. Yeah. Very anyway. good. Very good. Um, Puppy Rex did get off uh, on command. Oh, so she's, well done, darling. She's very obedient. Now, have you ever wondered how DHCP works? Why don't you tell... Do you know who you are? <laughs> <laughs> Do I know where I am? No. Anyway, here's how it works. It's a Cat5 cable, I know that. Hello? Does anyone know where DHCP is? 192.168.0.1 Mr. Dot One? What? Can I have an address, please? Uh, not another client. I'll search my database. You are 192.168.100.156. And, and how do I, how do I dial out? The gateway is 192.168.0.2. Okay, thank you. Come back in 360 minutes. That's why it takes 360 minutes for devices to drop off your Wi-Fi when they turn off because they don't check in anymore. And our Commodore 64 here that's connected to Wi-Fi, its IP is 192.168.0.0.64. I chose that one. 
I overrode DHCP. Wow. Sorry, Mr. DHCP. What? <laughs> hey, don't okay. do that anymore. Sorry. Ooh. All right. Finally. Pavlova! Yes! Beans. Yes, that's beans. But we don't want beans. We want Pavlova, okay? Seven. She gives him a squinting glare. <laughs> Random silly cat lover found my audio description rather amusing on that episode. That is also the episode that I was telling you about where Bandit, the father, just says every French Bonjour. phrase that he knows it the other day in the with, most with baby. Way. It's so funny. Who is le piscine? Every time he's angry, he's just, Bonjour. Oh. And Puppy Fractor jumps up. And that is it for I See What You Meme. We saw what he meant. Yeah. We did. Would you like to see what I unbox? Because it is this month's unboxing. <laughs> and this puppy fractic <laughs> fails to catch a treat for her unsnacksing. It is time for another visit to Harley Fractic from the game closet. Yay! And uh, to see how this month they will be helping us sponsor. This is how. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to my quiz show for final pencil bets. White Bunny is in the lead with 410 pencils. Wow. Penelope is in second and in third. Pink Bunny has 125 pencils. Here is the final pencil bet answer. This company has PCB starting at just $5. Good luck. Who do you think it is? I don't know. Is it Amazon? Let's no. see how it did. Pink Bunny, what was your response? I said it was Commodore. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Penelope, what was your response? I said it was really Wonka. I'm sorry, but that's also incorrect. White Bunny, you have a commanding lead. What is your Come response? On, don't you guys watch this show? It's PCB Way, where you can get PCB starting at just five dollars. You bet it all. I can't believe I finally won. <gasps> PCB Way. <laughs> Awesome. That was very good. These get better and better every time. Don't they? I think they're, they're Hollywood level now. Honestly, yeah. the graphics, good job, Harley. Top notch. And from that to... Ooh. It's time to read your faxes. Or, or someone said the segment should be called Just the Facts, ma'am. Just the Facts, ma'am. Should we get rid of the monitor first, though? Yes. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Oh, nearly hurt my Batmobile. Oh, as it hasn't lost its wheel. No, it's not a bat no wheel. It's a Batmobile. No reaction at all. Anyway, well, okay. We'll put in there for now. Uh, that is actually my childhood Batmobile, um, which was shipped over from the UK recently. Now, fax time. So that's one fell on the floor. Let's start with that. What the Ryan Codeman won? Get off my PC. As I was saying, happy birthday. This one obviously arrived in January, just for anyone to, to clarify that. Um, I'm going to say Windows Fax and Scan is really crummy. I'm going to look into a Linux solution next time. This is sent from my gaming streaming PC from 2017 that I installed a PCI-F US Robotics 56 kilobits per second fax modem that I also use on my YouTube channel. You don't have to plug this at casually playing with. Add ca so nobody go to YouTube channel at casually playing with act like I didn't plug it at all. You can go there and subscribe. Thank you so much, mate. That's great. Who thought I would be getting faxes for my birthday in 2024? Here we go. Oh, sorry. We'll pick. Let's just pick one more, shall we? To me from Javier Nolasco in Mexico City. In color, <laughs> instead of color logo, Ooh. we can't appreciate it here. So thrilled to send you these words. Big fan to RR. And he goes on to reminisce with a lovely drawing of a little C64 character. That'd be good for a, a user guide of one of these modern retro computers. Very cute. And anyone who faxes the show, uh, who includes their return fax number, does get a fax back from me. Very good. That is it for Back, back to the facts. Back to the facts. Man. Now it's time for some unboxing, so I'll take the camera because okay. you uh -huh. got a gift. I do. From Playon and Retro Games Limited and Atari in Atari 400 flavored wrapping paper. 
Ugh. I meant, sorry, I meant style. Mm. Well. Oh, good. <laughs> See what you got. I genuinely don't know what this is. We've been waiting <gasps> a few weeks. <gasps> what is? Oh, oh. So pretty. Wait a minute. Stuart from Play On, you bought my wife flowers? Well, I, I don't think it's it's romantic if I have to put them together myself. Okay, I'll let you off. That's very sweet. These are so pretty. Look. I'd Thank actually you. quite like you. Welcome. I'd actually quite like to help you make those. As long as you promise not to eat any of the pieces, okay? I'm not a baby. Baby fat who's six months old, and I quite often say to her, come on now, you're not a baby. <laughs> when she <laughs> literally is. We do, since she's one week. Okay, very good. Now get the next one up here. <laughs> this is from Fan Home, and it is a fantastic build up Batmobile. It's already open. Just oh, go ahead. convenient. So, so, we're actually unboxing it right next to my actual childhood Batmobile. You know, we don't just throw this thing together. The Batmobile build up from Fan Home. It lost its wheel. <laughs> there is the Bat No Wheel. Ooh. Now, Fan Home, of course, are dedicated to developing unique collections and build up models from much loved brands. And this, of course, is from the 1966 series. And this detailed model is made of die cast metal with working lights and siren Woo! extending bat scope from the film. And of course, much more. It's nearly three quarters of a meter long. That's over two feet. But just under three. But f so, well, still more feet than I've got. Yeah. <laughs> the Riddler. <laughs> naughty, naughty boy. Ah, oh, Adam West. Um, you'll also get Batman branded gifts each time you get a delivery, including a t-shirt, a mug, binder, posters, and much more. So subscribe now at fanhome.com. Our link is in the description. And uh, um, stop sniffing my joystick. That is it for <laughs> unboxing. Just a quick one this month. But next up, uh, we've got, would you like to look at some tasty home brews? Mm. <laughs> you look like the Riddler. Yeah. Riddle me this, Batman. Yay, we haven't won one, won one for a while. Won one for a while. Well, first up, look at this. Alex Capuro has written a book mm. called... The Commodore, the Commodore Sphere. Sphere. Mm -hmm. It's a journey through parallel realities. Now, he's not only wrote, written a book, but he wrote to us and he says, in the Commodore Sphere, readers dive into a tale of adventure and friendship where Alex, no relation, and his friends using a battered Commodore 64 uncover ancient secrets in a long lost tunnel, embarking on a time transcending journey inspired by my passion for retro 80s and 90s tech. Wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm not sure why the Commodore was battered. Maybe it was it's in old. the fish and chip shop. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Next up, <laughs> some more CGI retro console hot tubs. GameCube, what's that one? What's that one? What's that? Game Gear, what's that? NES. Yeah. What's that? It's just cool. This one we saw before. I do like the PlayStation yeah. one. It is the PlayStation 1, that's correct. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, kid gorgeous. Oh. Because they are gorgeous. Oh. And that's it for a very short home bruise. That was. Yeah, because next up we've got a very long... Nostalgia... <laughs> How do you like a nice, tasty bowl of very long nostalgia flakes? Mm. Each, each flake is like this. Oh, yeah. it's like a biscuit. Yeah. Mmm. First up, how about a visit to... The gallery. Who's this? That would be Alan Drought. Alan Drought, but he's not got a drought of cool consoles, has he? Look no. at that. Got the whole setup. An old Schneider, uh, sometimes called Amstrad. Home sweet home office by... By I've Got Gas. I believe it's home sweet home office. By Norman and Peter. And again, so this again is Joe's kit from the Night Rider Historians. And this is from the other angle. No, 
now we now we've got proof that it's real. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Retro corner. That's cool. By Thomas Voigt. Mm-hmm. Hey, deep. <laughs> Full throttle. Oh yes, yeah, so this is a refurbished Apricot Zen PCM. Yum. Yum. Or is it an XEM? Or is it an apricot? <laughs> God. Where am I, America? Oh yeah. Was that Atari 800 XL? And an Atari ST. What was the little denominator? Anyway, the um, the PC version ST. And a Specky. And an MTX 500. And a modern day recreation there. I love seeing all these uh, modern day recreations of people's bedrooms and yeah. retro corners. Well, that is it for Nostalgia's Legs. It was delicious. It was very tasty this month. Um, and it's been a while, it's been a few months since we visited Lampoonery oh. and Night Rider meets. Oh, okay. Not just Fast and the Furious, but also, well, one of our favorites. 18. We did that last time, I but know. this time, we'll see. Is that one of those Elon Musk cars self-driving? <laughs> Tight squeeze, Dom. Don't land on Knight's car. Hey, lady, watch your rotor blades. Also, this is a car park, not a helicopter park. Is that Airwolf? Hawk and Santini are also here to be debriefed, Michael. I haven't seen Hawk since Vietnam. Hell of a chopper pilot. Devin, if you need me to scatter Toretto's crew into minuscule fragments, all you've got to do is say the word. Get out. No, Toretto. Not without my DVD player. Brian O'Connor. Hannibal, what did the car say? I said. Kindly extinguish your cigar. Open the roof or something. As you wish. Voice control. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Did you notice MacGyver there? I did. We don't just throw this show together. We did. That was an accident. The mustache reminded me of Garth. Yeah, although his wasn't stuck on. Right. Notice my oh, shirt. What was it? Of course. God, good night. It's very cool. Where'd you get that? I don't even remember the website. Very good. We'll put that link in the description for you. Yes. Um, thank you, Lampoonery. If you want to watch the whole video, check out his channel and uh, go, go ahead and subscribe to that. We'll be back with another Lampoonery in an upcoming mm. recipe. Mm. But finally, we'll be doing these little um, cry inducing, tear inducing oh, no. uh, <laughs> outros, musical right, outros. I'm ready. I don't know if you are. This is a mere handpan. That's his last name. Uh, in honor of our seal from earlier. And we're going to play out with a little trip down Nostalgia Lane. Sherry says, I look at my mum's old house on Google Maps Street View, the house where I grew up. It says, image captured May 2009. There's a light on in her bedroom. It's still her house. She's still alive. I'm still visiting every few months on the train to Bodmin Parkway. Hippie Chick says, my dad died three years ago, but on Google Maps, he's still doing some gardening, which he loved. And Quinny says, we lost our dog a couple of months ago. It's been one of the hardest losses of my life. I was so happy to see that he's still waiting by the window for us to come home somewhere. I have to confess, I do go down uh, street views sometimes and go back in time and... Yeah. My mum and dad's car is in the drive, and yeah. Well, that is it for our show. And we want to thank Amir Handpan for carelessly whispering us out. We're going to go back to whispering because Baby Fratic is still asleep. Shh, shh, indeed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below, and cheerio. Cheerio. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes.